Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on Terraria Journeys and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Terraria. So, last episode we have done is we have gone and done more of these, well not of these, but of this achievement, this last one. So we are minion, we are now at 166. We have done six vision quests last episode, I believe, which is quite fun, and as you can clearly see, we're 166, meaning we only need a further 30 more, 34 more fishing quests before we can get to the grand total of 200 that we need. 34 more fishing quests? That isn't a lot. So let's go. Let's get it. We won't be able to get it today, of course. We can probably do our, another 6 or 7 today. So soon. And I mean very soon. We will collect that achievement and complete. Well, Terraria, I guess. Fully completed. Every single boss defeated. Every single, you know, item. Well, I don't, I don't have every single item in my but you get the point. Every boss defeated, every achievement collected, everything done. So soon, we're going to be able to go and fully complete Terraria. Obviously, we're still going to keep on playing it afterwards. You know, to be precise, we're going to come back to our playthrough of the Spirit mod. But that'll be later, of course. For now, we're staying in 1.4, and we're going to deal with the final achievements. Let's go, as Professor A, back obviously into, as you probably suspected, retard and let's get back to work. Obviously, we're going to go here, because well, every other world is also on cooldown, might as well go here, because this world is quite convenient doing fishing quests, since, you know, most of the world has been terraformed into a more, let's just say, simple way to get around, but I don't mean, I've been playing this world for so long that, well, it's quite fun. Anyhow, um... Yeah, the only thing we can really do now is sleep, so I'll see you in that case when or if we ever wake up. Ah, we're in. And I had a health on a hard piece of round so you can quickly just murder these guys. But as I was going to say, um, yeah, there actually are, you know, stars in the background because there weren't, I believe, last episode. Or at least in one of the nights in the last episode, there simply were no stars in the night, so it was just literally just full of darkness. Which is quite actually scary. Whatever, though, it was journey. So, fun thing to see, I miss that guy while well, he's still alive. Anyway though, let's get ourselves down, and let's jump the next fishing quest. As you can see, there's a heavy rain going on, which is actually pretty good, because when it's raining, our fishing power is increased. Currently, we have 145, so that's already a lot. More than we normally have, so that's quite good, I gotta say. More fishing power, we can do these fishing quests easier, which is good, because they already are a bit of a pain. And down we go, with incredible lag, which is very fun. It isn't fun at all, I'm kidding. Let's quick go, and see what Danny wants us to do now. Hey, yo, Mr. DeVito, you want, ah, angelfish, well, um, but yeah, I can go simply just up there and get it from there, that'll be the smartest choice. Up you go, obviously get some lag, I don't know why, but it was get some lag, but I mean, that's completely fine. This is basically our, um, outfit island, so where we have all of our outfits, and I mean, all of our outfits. Actually, I don't know if it's all, they might have a few, you know, a few outfits that aren't actually here. Yeah. Whatever the case, let's quickly go get ourselves the angelfish so we can then get out of here. Frankly, I don't want to spend here any more time than I have to. Oh, angelfish, what do you know? Down you go. Let's keep going, hand this fish in. And no, 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 don't go to hell. God almighty. Alright, now. Let's give this angelfish in. That'll already be one fish request done today. It's quite nice. Danny, boom, quest, nice. A super absorbent sponge already got 50 trillion of those. Kid, I don't really want to heal with you. Well, heal with you, heal. Did you see at the point? You can take that. And my, um... No, 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 don't shoot. For God's sake. You can take that. Boom, beautiful. Now that's already another one done, putting us 167, which is quite nice. Meaning we only require a further 33 more fishing quests to complete this achievement. Let's go get them, or at least a few of them. In that case, with that done, I'll see you next morning. That was quite a simple fishing quest, I gotta say. Alright then, it's daytime, time for the next fishing quest. Get ourselves out of here, obviously first he committed a harpy genocide. And we already killed 833 harpies. My god, that's way more than I thought I'd ever kill. Well, anyway, let's quickly get ourselves down, and by down I mean just generally just, yeah, down, and let's keep on going with these goddamn stupid fishing quests. So, now, if we quickly, yeah, get the stupid flipping hole. Uh, this next fishing quest is, oh, I don't really know, I'm not even there yet. Just get me there, yeah, mm hmm Yo, sup, hi, I'll admit. What music box is this? I'm, I'm wondering. I'll be a few in a minute, whatever the hell your name is. It's a sandstorm. Oh, yeah, of course, I really like the sandstorm shoes, don't I? I can just make it do a sandstorm whenever I want to. <laughs> That's great. Anyway, uh, Danny, I'm very, you know, I really want to drown you in that water, but I don't think I can. You want yourself a hungerfish, caverns. I already have a pool in the caverns, not really. Um, I presumably could fish it off like 
Uh, I don't really know. Why is there so much hollow around here? Where the hell does all this hollow come from? I could fish it up and like... Yeah, I know where to go. We can simply go down to hell. And fish it up in one of the pools there. Alright, fair enough. We're going to go to hell then using this teleporter over here then. No, no, not that one. Fuck God, that's the jungle. I want to go to the jungle. I want to go to hell. Perfect. Now we got ourselves up. By, oh, I just mean it's just through here. Perfect. And then even higher up. Perfect. Wait a few seconds. So I think cools down. Perfect. I didn't even... Oh, I got damaged. Of course I did. Got myself up then. And now... Oh, whoops. No, don't die. we got to go up quite far. And I mean quite far. we got to get past the lava layer. Back into the water layer. But I mean, hey. It beats walking down. Or just jumping down. I'm pretty could have used a elevator. That would be much faster. But it's too late now. We already committed to this. So that's why we're going to use this uh, very unlogical method. Get ourselves into here, wait for the coolant to end, beautiful. Then you can simply wait for the coolant to end again. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Mm, get ourselves into here. Perfect. Okay. We'll be there momentarily, just you wait. We can go in here next. Cooldown's over, boom. The cool I'm talking about is this thing over here. Chaos state, using red disco will take life. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun when you get your life taken. Believe me, it's just really, really ain't fun. Cool, drop you. And there should be a pool right above us, shouldn't there? Yes, there is right here. Yeah, perfect. This is, in fact, the pool in the caverns. Is it big enough? Probably not. But, I mean, hey, what can you do? Let's quickly go for the thing in and just get the thing. Fish. Get the point. That is a, that's not what, what I need. That's a specular fish. Not necessarily a hunger fish. Oh, that's a hunger fish, though. That's well. Fair enough. All I needed. Sign our back. Home we go. It's going to be the fastest way. And then we can actually maybe go this way. Because I'm going to want to have a little, little look at this little model I made over here. By little monolith, I mean pretty big. It's a very big monolith. It's right here. It's pretty nice. I don't know why I made this, but I mean, yeah, it exists. I actually converted one of the island homes, because it used to be obviously a home. So I converted one of the little floating island homes into this little, you know, monolith. And it's quite cool. It goes up to the top. It's nice little, you know, absolute, like, darkness in the middle of the top. And it's a small little, you know, cool little monolith, I guess. Nice and golden and cool, I guess. I can not do it. It's cool. I like it. I really don't know why I built this, but it and now it, it exists. It just it vibes on this little floating island here. It's quite cool. Anyway, let's get ourselves down past the um, tree that I guess guards the area where you know my villages right here. Not a village, but I mean kind of town. We have a golden castle. We've seen all this before, but I, I just want to quickly really say that we're gonna have two hills protecting you know the, um, the the home base. This hill over here and this hill over here on this other side. They're both kind of like you know protecting it. Like both of my this big house and this golden palace and everything else. They're all in this little, well not little, they're all in this, you know, uh, in between these two hills, which is quite cool to look at it on the map. It's very cool indeed. Especially if you know the tree over there. Yeah, it's nice. I'm in the wrong place, though, i got to get himself over to the angler. Probably should have used the teleporter, it would have been way faster, but hey. I'm going to you know, show you this, which you've already seen this before, but basically, this is the, um, what are they called? The trophies for every single boss in the game, plus the trophies for a few of these thing majigas. Okay, I see other trophies, just these guys. Few from the old army, few free for old one's army, few from the um, pumpkin moon, and then the Martian invasion. I don't actually have the frost moon trophies in here, and this fish isn't actually supposed to be there, but I mean, I was sick of it. But yeah, that's basically that. It's quite cool, I gotta say. Anyhow, I also probably have to build another one of these ships because I already have one of this. I have a ship like here, over here. This is basically the mask of every single boss, which is yet again quite cool. So, I mean, yeah, I have the trophy of every single boss and the mask of every single boss. But I mean, I have this little ship over here. But I'm thinking of building another one, like maybe over here, like a much bigger one. Because my, you know, my all my chests are a complete mess in here. So I want to go and sort these out. I could put them on the ground underneath the base, but I like the way that, you know, it's quite dark underneath here where you stand here. So I think I'm going to simply build a little spaceship up here and just smack all my stuff into that spaceship. It's because it's just a mess of all these chests. Like, I mean, it's such a mess. I'm mean, trying to do some, you know, organizing here of all these biome chests, but again, it's still not as organized as I'd like it to be. So it's just a mess. I would quickly go and hand this fish in. And this should put us, I believe, two done today. Boom. Nice. I think so. Because I go away what you don't need and we can check how many you've done, how many more we have to do. Boo. I don't really need these, so no potions done. Okay, so cool. Now we have done, should be at 169? No, 68. You can start at about 166, we've done two. That puts us at 168. Okay, good. Well then, I mean, I guess I could start building the little ship thing, Majiga, now. And then we can, I guess, wait for the next fishing quest, I presume. Yeah. I'll start working on the ship and then we can deal with the next fishing quest when that becomes available. Well then, here we are. So. Uh, I haven't actually built, started building the ship yet. I've only actually got the materials that I need for it. I haven't actually, you know, built the ship yet. 
So, yeah. I did get them materials for it, though, and by the time I actually, you know, planned out where I wanted to be and how I wanted to look, by the time I actually got the materials, it already was so late, I went, I went off, slept up the last, like, minute or two, and now we're ready for the next fishing quest. So I'm gonna start building after we finish this fishing quest, because it's unlogical. Anyway, though, let's quickly really get to it, then, shall we? So, um, here we go. Hello there. We've only done two fishing quests so far, right? I believe that is correct. Yes, I was gonna do a bit more, because two ain't good enough, son. So, ah, oh, finally, he asked for a mirrorish fish. You know, I'm so happy about that, because, well, would you look at that? What do I have in here? Oh, hold on, mm -hmm, wrong thing. Uh, 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 would you look at that? I have the mirrorish fish right in here. I already have this fish caught. The reason I have it is because I presume, I don't actually know why I have it, I just indeed do have it. I presume what happened is that I simply, I fished it up, but then I actually didn't hand it in, and then the next day, once I couldn't hand it in, and he didn't ask me for it ever before, so it was just sitting in my inventory. And um, I just have it in, so now I can hand it in now, after so long. I also have the Icor fish, because he asked for this fish, and I caught it, but didn't actually hand it in in time. So now I just only have it, because I I actually started doing the fishing quest very late, just before it turned to day. And I managed to catch it before it turned to day, but I didn't hand it in in time. It was literally like five seconds off, I think it was like last episode, actually. Or the episode before that, I think it was the last episode, so yeah. That's the reason the icor fish is in here, but the mirage fish, I don't actually know the real reason it's here. All I know is that now the mirage fish is finally gone. Boom. We didn't actually have to do anything. All we had to do was just simply hand it in because I hand because uh, I could didn't hand it in before. So finally, it's gone. My God, that took so long to get that out of my inventory. Well, well, that's done. Which means that now it's time to do some construction work. By that I mean build the goddamn stupid little spaceship for my you know inventory management problems. Also, now I have that out of the way, this is where my angler gear goes, yeah, and then the tackle bag would go over here, this is where my fishing rod would go over here, so if I we need to move anything, we'll find it. Right then, as I said, let's get to, well, building, ah, oh, stupid, I need to move that thing. Anyway, let's get to building, I'll see you next morning, we can go and deal with our four fishing quests we've done three so far, it's quite fun. Or I guess I can see after I'm done with this fishing quest, you get the point. I didn't mean fishing quest, I meant building the, you get the point, building the spaceship. Well, here it is. This is the spaceship of chests that I've named it. It just, yeah, it vibes, it exists. This is how big it is. This is where I've built it. It's unless you right here, just floating off. I said, I built it, I said I'm going to build it right here. And this is how it looks like. It's simply just filled with chests. It's pretty much like this ship over here, but it's actually a lot bigger. And it actually, well, it's filled with chests. I haven't actually put anything in yet. These chests, you can see, they're all empty. I haven't actually named any of the chests and put anything in yet. I've built the ship and put the chest down, but I still, what I need to do now is just to actually name all the chests and start moving all my items from the mess that is over here. You know, move, start moving all these items from here into the chest of death. So now that the spaceship is built and filled with chests, now the second part of the little, you know, moving expedition is to simply move all the items from here over to the spaceship. Because those are two things you have to do. Build the ship and then move the things. The ship is done. All I'm gonna do is simply transfer all the items, and you can do that later. For now, though, I want a bit of br break for that. I want to go and I want to sleep, rest, wait till the next day so we can deal with the next fishing quest. I shall see you in that case when that moon will fall below the horizon and the sun will once again rise upon this beautiful land. There it is, the sun flying over the horizon, which means more fishing. Which I don't know how to feel about that really, but probably not too happy. Anyhow, though, let's go and fly past all these items because I really don't want them. I have way too much money that I really just do not need more money. Let's get ourselves down and let's probably also stop flexing and let's deal with the next fishing quest, whichever that may be. I believe we have done how many so far? Uh, yep, we have done three fishing quests so far. Probably gonna do around six or seven. I believe we are on 169 fishing quests. Way, that funny number. Good, let's keep it going in that case and see what else we can do today. Here we are. Sup? Um, I probably can use the channel Sun Jewel soon. If not soon, then I'll see right now. Hello, Danny. You want me to give you a fish or tron? Cut in caverns. God damn it. I don't really want to go through, you know, all that SKP over there of going through the ground again. So I think instead we're going to do is we're going to try to find an alternate way that's going to take us down there. This might take us quite deep down, actually, over by the ocean. Yeah, let's not just go to the ocean. That should hopefully take us... To where we need to be. I'm at the wrong ocean. This actually teleports on the ship, which is quite fun. But I don't want to be over here. This teleport teleports me up down here, I believe, under the ocean. But I don't, I don't want to be at the ocean. I want to be 
down right here. I believe I've got to jump here, right down here. The corruption still hasn't started spreading back. Oh god, it has. Oh, we've got to cleanse that. Has it started spreading back in here though? Hmm. Nothing that I can see I means it's probably only a few blocks that aren't a big of a deal, but it's a bit over here that I've got to cleanse. I'm going to cleanse it actually right now. But yeah, as I was saying, money wise, um, yeah, we're fine. 82 platinum. I didn't actually cheat any of that money in. That's all the money that I collected legitimately. So that just shows you how long I've been playing on this character for way too long. Anyway, though, jump down here. Most of this is clans, as you can clearly see, but it's still a bit coming back, which is not too, well, great. There it is right here. Well, sayonara, corruption. You were here, and now you're gone. Nobody will ever know. Perfect. But out of the way, we now go put this back and get the fish. Are we in the caverns are we on, or are we in the underground? We're definitely, you know, below the ground, but are we caverns underground? Underground, we're not deep enough then. We can go a bit deeper though, because luckily there's, you know, quite big pools around here, so it should be fine. So then the caverns, so we're going to go deeper. Is a pool deeper down? There are those pools down there. Should be, yeah, we're in the caverns right now. Cavern starts at like 5.30, I believe. Not time, but like, you know, 530 meters beneath the ground, or feet, I believe. So, yeah, we're nearly there, basically. Get ourselves into there, would you? No, okay, into second best over here. Perfect. And then from there you can drop them into there. Perfect. It's gonna take me into uh, here. And then this is gonna take me into here. And then it's gonna take me into here. Perfect. It did take up like half my health, but here we are. God damn it, this is hollowed. Okay, we probably need to be outside of the hollow then. Is this gonna be good enough? Okay, this is still hollowed. Oh, for the love of God, are you actually kidding me? Uh, there's a big pool down there. That by down there, I mean like down here. You get what I mean. Right around this this way over here. Okay, there's so much hollow for the love of God. Here we are. This pool right here should be in fact not hollowed. Well, I mean it is close enough to the hollow, I believe. Yeah, we need to find a different pool then that isn't goddamn hollowed. That's why. Why is this hollow even here? Okay, you know what? It's cleansing time. And it's gone. All it took was just a hell ton of you know, contamination powder. But I mean, hey, we got the money to pay for more contamination powder if we need to. Uh, wait, for now, it's gone. By it, I mean just, just stupid, you know, biome. Now we can quickly go and get the fish that we came here for. What is the name of the fish? I think it's the fish of Tron. But I don't know, it's been so long, I can't even remember. Just give me the fish of Tron and just let me leave. That's a terrible crate. Close, but not really close enough. Can someone deal with that bath? I'm a bit busy. Mm -hmm. No, okay, I'm gonna deal with it myself then. Stupid dragon can't do anything useful. Okay, why is my why is my sniper rifle up here? For God's sake. Just give me this stupid fish of Tron and let me leave this goddamn becursed cave. Because I let me fish in this cave for some reason. Oh, never mind. There it is, fish of Tron. Well, that's all I wanted. Sayonara. Now I can go get ourselves down and the center. Presumably, we could either sleep or use a sun gel. I think, you know what, actually, I'm going to do something. I'm going to go in here. Dump all my stuff that I don't need. I don't really need any of this. What we're going to do is we're going to actually sleep till pretty much right next to the morning, then get to our house, hunt on the fish just before it turns to the next day, and then deal with the next fishing quest the second it turns to the next day, and then we can use a sun gel, which is going to be quite efficient. I believe it's going to be our fourth fishing quest of the day. Yeah, because we've done three so far. It's going to be our fourth one, we did the fifth one right after, because it's going to be daytime, and the sixth one right after due to the sun gel, and then we can even do a seventh as well. I still gotta go and sort out all the items, but I mean, yeah. In that case, I'll see you just before the morning, so you can hand in this fishing quest, and then do another one right after. And then, we have less than a minute, let's waste no more time, let's get ourselves down there, hand this fishing quest in, clear out my inventory, and then, well, boom, would you look at that, we can already do the next fishing quest. Actually, we only have 30 seconds, so I might have sat there for a little while too long, and you might miss this one. Oh, what have I done again? I've done this again. I only have 30 seconds to hand this in. 10 seconds, so we should be able to get it. Make it in time, but God. I missed last time. Whatever. Boom. We've done the golden fishing rod. I don't care. That's done. Only four more left to go. Whew, that was a bit closer than I would want it to be. Cool. Anyway, that was going sell all this stuff that I don't need. I probably needed half that, but I mean, whatever. It's, it's all gone now, anyway. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And would you look at that? We can already do the next one. Solar Eclipse. Great. You want yourself a Batfish? Okay, I can do that. A Solar Eclipse is definitely going to be a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, quite a major problem, actually. I can probably use a Sun Jewel to skip through this. Yeah. Okay, we've got to go and get the Batfish, though. So, where, where's the best place to fish? Let's quickly go to the ocean so we can actually think about all of our NPCs getting slaughtered. Stop. Okay. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. We can simply just go and we can use this pool 
uh, down here, down this cave, because we can get it from here. So you can use it from here, and then you can go and you can instead use the sun gel so you can avoid uh, solar eclipse. Because trust me, I really don't want to deal with a solar eclipse right now. I have better things to do than stupid solar eclipses. So you can quickly go, get this fishing quest done, hand this in, and then just skip through the day. Because, nah, I ain't having it. I ain't doing a, I ain't doing a solar eclipse. Screw you, brother. That's not, a, that's not what I need, for God's sake. Right, also no. Rockfish, close, but not close enough. Not actually, you know, the thing that I actually need. No. Should be able to get it through here. It's just underground or caverns. Yep, we gotta ride that. Good. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teleport home. I'm gonna teleport to the left ocean. So you can go dump what you don't need. Perfect. Open you, perfect. And then we can go and you can use a teleporter that's over here to teleport home very quickly. Hand in the thing and then use a sun sunjol. You see? Efficiency. We're already back home much faster than we would be normally. Now close these drawers so nobody gets brutally murdered the second, you know, we think Majiga. And you can go and quickly hand this in. Boom. Boom, that one done. But I'm a bucket nice and quickly go and use the sunjol before so you can skip through this. Boom. Sunjol's going down. And, well, away goes the solar eclipse. Alright, good. That's one way to deal with the solar eclipse. Waiting through it? Nah, ain't gonna happen. Especially since I can't sleep. But you can use the sun gel, and boom. The solar eclipse is over. Which is quite good. Right, that's a good deal with the stragglers, and I guess we'll be fine. Let's hope they don't give us another solar eclipse right after, you know, it becomes daytime again. And, luckily they didn't. Good. That's that then. The solar eclipse is over. Now, let's go and hang this banner up, because I might as well. The more the merrier. I already have one of these up, but I mean, hey. I still gotta go and fill up my the, the little gap that I got over there. Alright then, by the way, all of you, we can quickly go and sell you to you. Boom, boom. Ten gold. That's quite a lot, I gotta say. Nice. In that case, with that out of the way, now you can go and do the next fishing quest. Right after that, boom. He wants a cloud fish caught in the sky lakes. Alright, let's go get him that then. This is some good progress. We were going quite slow out of the, out of the beginning of this episode. And, uh, but now. Like, look at that, we managed to get one fishing quest, right after we managed to get the next one, and then, boom. I tried to sunjil and then another one right off the bat. Yeah, that's three fishing quests right there. Yeah, boom, we already got the cloudfish. And I don't know how many fishing quests it's gonna put us at now, but I think that's six done today. Only one more to go. I assume so. Ah, uh, well, let's hand this in, I guess we'll be done for the day. Well, not for the day, we can still go up a bit more. Boom. Hide this fishing line, I already got like 50 trillion of those, so I mean, cheers, but no thanks. Boom, take that, and take that, and good. And now that will put us at, I believe, how many done today? Let's go find out. Um, 172 we have done. We started off 100... Uh, that's 5 done. Wait, only 5? No. We started off... No. Yeah, it's 6. We started off 166, 167, 166. And then we've, in fact, done... Yes, yeah, 6 fishing quests. You can do a few more, though, so... Let's go. Maybe 3 more so you can get to 175. That'd be quite fun. If I can get to 175, we're only going to need a further 25 more fishing quests. Well, we only grant and need 28 more, but if you do another three, we can get only 25 more. But I want to sleep for another three days and nights. Wouldn't, you know, kill me to do so. I don't know. For now, I'll sort out my, you know, chests and all that stuff. And then after I sort out my chests, then I guess you can deal at least in one more fishing quest to get to seven done today. And then maybe you can do another two if you want to. We'll see. For now, though, I'll see you, I guess, after I deal with all the, you know, chest sorting out business. I'll see you soon, in that case. Alright, so, uh, we're back. We're not even, uh, well, we're close, but we're not actually done yet with all the chests sorting out stuff. I still have a few more, you know, chests to sort out. But we're quite close, I'm gonna show you, actually, I'm not gonna show you anything yet, I'm just gonna simply, I'm gonna show you once it's gonna be finished. For now, since it's quite late, I, as I said, I simply just slept for a little while longer. And, well, I mean, it took me so long that it's already the next day, basically, so I just had to sleep the little last few minutes. We are on 172, we still got to do another 3 to reach the um, 175, and we're going to have done 9th day. If we do 3 more, we're going to done 9th day, it's quite good. You now want a hunger fish. I can grab that for you, can't I? Actually, can I? Yeah, I can. Let's go get ourselves to the ocean, just have that in for you real quick. Uh, no, wrong one. This ocean. This magic conch item is one of the best items in the game, you know, teleportation-wise. Because it gets you to the ocean, it's quite useful, because normally... It takes a while to get to the ocean, especially if you don't actually have, you know, teleporter set up like I do, so... Yeah, it's a little better with this. Anyway, um... Caverns. You want to go to the caverns, don't you? Well, not you, but... The game wants me to go to the caverns. Which, I mean, I presume I can, but I do gotta go quite deep. Yes, you delve the entire, you know, hollow infestation we had here. But it's still not really close enough yet, though, is it? No, not necessarily. Can you, like, move? Yeah, cheers. Much appreciated, buckaroo. I was gonna take us kind of oh, these stupid cobwebs. I hate them so much. Um, uh, this will do right over here. 
by this I mean this thing up here, this little pond over there. Pond. I mean it is a bit of a pond, I guess. We get ourselves over here and we can simply use this, get ourselves a hunger fish, and I guess that'll be that. Around them. Well, all right of the bad. Would you look at that? I'm going to go and teleport to the ocean so you can actually get back home quicker. Listen, uh, I just literally only just recently figured out that I can just get back home much quicker. Instead of actually dropping down from the airship, I can just simply move the spaceship. I can teleport to here, boom, and we're already in. Much faster. Now, Danny, that's not a one done. Golden Bugner already got 50 trillion of those. I want a Sundry if you don't mind, because I accidentally sold one. So now I have to use an emergency one, so I do want to get that one back. Granted, the one I sold wasn't one that I got recently, so it's not that I lost one. I you know, accidentally sold a new one, but I mean, still. The one that we have normally stands right around, right here. Yeah. And anyway, that's that, so now we have 173. Two more would be quite ideal, I presume. Anyway, though, I'll get back to, you know, moving all these stupid items. Ugh, finally. After literally an entire in game, after two in game nights, no, two in game days and one night. It is finally done. All my items have been moved from the house up to the spaceship. The only thing that hasn't been moved is just the things in here because I'm just going to leave those here because, yep, I can't be able to sort those out. And also, I had a few spare items to know what to do with them, so I just kind of, um, yeah, this happened. But either way, every single other chest is now empty. All these items that are messed up in here and shoved in, they're all now gone. Even all those are empty. Even I removed all the names from the chests just to, you know. Well, make it a bit more clear. Is we have a chest over here, but this chest is just random Christmas stuff. Might as well leave that there. This chest over here is just mostly random. Uh, it's mostly fishing related stuff, so I guess we can simply have all that over here. This is just fishing. It kind of makes sense. It's the angler. And that's just Christmas stuff. It makes sense that it's in the, you know, the painter's house. The stuff up here is mostly lunar related. I want to keep this here because, you know, this is my, like, this lunar part. We have the music for the lunar bosses, ancient manipulator from the lunar fight, all the lunar little pillars, the void thing from the lunar event, and also chest full of lunar stuff. This is literally the lunar thing. It's all just filled with lunar items over there, so that's fine. There's no chest over there. And there's no more chests over here. Actually, there's one over there. But I presume the chest, I presume the items in there are either going to be related to this NPC, right? Yeah. Actually, this is where my, oh, this is where I put my accessories. I didn't even notice where I put them all. Oh, so you can, in that case, move all those. That's going to cause some problems, though, because I don't actually, I don't know that this exists. I didn't know that I had these up here, accessories. Why well, was I keeping them here? This is the most random, stupid place to keep these items. Our way, though, we can now go and, um... Yeah, I can show you this. So first of all, this is where the chests we have. Weapons, weapons 2, uh, equipment and tools, ores, gems, materials, potions, potions 2. Top row ammunition, enemy drops, dyes, placeables, fishing animals, and herbs. I think I'm actually going to change the fishing quest, cause, fishing chest, because I have these two items in here, but I can move these two items to the chest down here. I didn't know that this chest existed. Like, you know, this guy, off oh, with the fire. This guy right here, I forgot that I had this guy over here, so I can simply move you into here is actually going to free up just long as to put all these other stuff in there because um yeah with that in there now uh, i can show you these chests this is you know the weapons chest of all of our weapons this is the second weapons chest you have more over here have the ammunition for those things and some enemy drops some random items in the dice then you have the placeables over here of all the random items over here you have the equipment and tools all the ore sorted out nicely the gems chest materials chest then we have the fishing which is empty so you can turn that into the Actually, we can probably move. We can probably move these two. Actually, going to move that in a minute. But we can simply move the you and you can actually. Oh, this is going to be such a mess. Okay, equipment and tools. As you can see, is really full. So can I get a smack all of you in the door? That's going to be the chest fill. I'm going to sort that out in a minute. But generally, this is going to be the new dice chest. Basically, this is going to be the second dice chest. We rename rename you into dice. Perfect. And this just isn't going to be dice. It's going to be equipment and tools too. Rename. Equipment and tools too. Okay, it's just gonna be like that because yeah, there's not more space. Can't tap any further. So in here we can go and smack all these items, but we also got to remove all these first. It's gonna take only a minute to sort out. I generally yeah, forget about that other chest and I have such a mess in here. But um, yeah, this isn't really supposed to happen. <laughs> you get the point though. It's all nice and sorted out though, which is quite cool. That solves all those life problems. Like when you sort out your chest in Terraria, it literally all your life problems just go away. Not all of them, but most of them. Quick stack all of you into there, or just deposit it all. Perfect, that's all the dice. Now we, yeah, uh, move all those items into here. Equipment and tools. So you have all these equipment and tools in here, and another one in here of the rest of these. I didn't even know I had them, but yeah. Then then, then we have the placeables, aka all the blocks, and then the dyes, which weren't actually there before, the animals, and then the herbs, which is quite fun. And then the second we have the materials, the gems, then you also have the potions, a second potion chest, which is actually quite empty, 
And that's it. So basically, I have still quite a few news, just like you have the third row, which isn't even touched at all. Most sort of the first and second row. We only filled up like around this much of the chest. There's still this many more to go. So we're fine. Either way, with that filled up, well, I guess you can probably get to bed and sleep and deal with the next fishing quest. I presume so. I'll see you in that case in the morning. Right, it's pretty much the next day. I've decided that this next fishing quest we're going to do is going to be a last one for today because if you're going to achievements, let's at the controls. If you go into the achievements list, for the love of God, right here, you can see that we currently have 173. I could do two more to get to the nice number of 175, or I could only do one more, so we can have eight done today, we're going to be 174. And the next episode, you can do six, so you can go from 174 to 180, which is going to be quite cool. So you can get to 180, that'll be nice. So yeah, let's go. Let's deal with our eighth and for today, final fishing quest. So next episode, you can do six fishing quests and get to 180. But generally, for now, we're going to get to 174. And that is going to mean we've done eight today. That's the plan. Let's not case go. But um, yeah, we're going to get to 174 fishing quests done in total. And that means eight today. We can do six next time to get to 180 as a total. It's going to be quite fun. So yeah, currently, we only have 27 fishing quests remaining. After we're going to have go... Ah. We only have 27 fishing quests remaining after you do... I can't speak. We currently have 27 fishing quests remaining. After you do this one, we're only going to have 26. Then you can deal with the 6 fishing quests next episode, so we're only going to have 20 left. So, we're nearly done. And I mean, we're very close. Let's see what the final question, fishing quest for the day will be. It is a scorpion fish in the desert. I can probably do that for you, right? Uh, yes, I can. I can get that right over there. Okay, good. He already tasked me with a Scorpio fish before, so now I can get it done very easily. Tell ourselves up to the ocean, and I guess let's get to it. But yeah, as I said, he already told me to do a Scorpio fish, so you can do that quite easy. Another thing we also got to do in this world, we got to go and fix up the ship, because it's mostly unfurnished, because the furniture I had in there was modded. Now that the mods are gone, the furniture also is gone, so now it's just an empty ship, so I got to refurnish that ship. This can't stay the way it is, because it's supposed to be like that, but you simply got to refurnish that ship. I've waited as a sandstorm going, I'm just going to make this fishing quest a lot harder to do. I'm going to deploy all the, you know, defenses I got, but it's going to be quite bad to do. I've waited out, let's just simply get what we need, and then we can get out of here. Okay, this is going to be very bad. If you just give me the Scorpio fish and let me leave, that'd be much appreciated. Oh, this is going to be so hard to do. Oh, there's so many of them. Just give me the goddamn Scorpio fish and let me leave. And now a flounder, keep on getting flounders. Okay, mm-hmm. That's a bomb fish, not really what I need. My fishing power is strong, but goddamn it, the enemy is this. There's too many of them. Actually, although the, most of them are dead now. I've nearly killed a thousand blue slimes. Oh my god, that's slime genocide. Actually, how much do you have to kill to consider it genocide? It's a good question. A bit of a strange one, but it's still a good one. Scorpio fish! Way! I'm actually I'm not going to teleport home because so it's going to take too long. Instead, I'm simply going to fly back to where you need to be. I don't need any of you. Although, actually, I need a palladium ore because, yeah. But I can just remove everything else. I'm not going to sell it because I have way too much money. But it can keep you for now. And those we get ourselves over here. So you can teleport home. And boom. Now, quickly we can go and you can put the a palladium ore into our chest. Because we actually have a bit of your missing... Well, you, you'll see. Simply in the ore's chest. You see, we do not have anything in the palladium thing. So you can put the palladium right here. Put it over here. And put the palladium right there. Nice. Good. And let's hand this Scorpio fish and then we're going to be done for the day. Which is quite nice, i got to say. But, we did a pretty good thing today, by that I mean we did 8 fishing quests, and we also managed to sort out my, you know, entire storage problems. So now I have storage problems dealt with, and the 8 fishing quests done. We, we, there's a pretty good episode today. Very good. A lot, very pro a lot of progress was done. Very constructive. Quite nice. And now, with the 8 fishing quests done, well, I mean, what can I say apart from, we're done here. I'm gonna smack you into here, and I guess, um, yeah. For now, we're done, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Next episode, we're going to go and we're going to deal with at least six fishing quests so you can get to the grand total of 180 out of the 200. It's going to be quite fun. But anyway, now with 174 fishing quests done, I'm signing off right here, right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys, hopefully all of you, in the next one. Goodbye!